It was over almost as soon as it began for Ole Miss at the Tempe, Arizona, Regional on Sunday night. Before the second out was recorded in the bottom of the first inning, Arizona State had put Ole Miss in an early 4-0 hole, chasing ace Kate Lindley from the pitching circle and totally discombobulating the Rebel infield with aggressive base running. The Sun Devils ended up plating five runs in their first at bat and they were off to the races. A. Chapman's three-run homer over the left field fence was the big blow in the inning. The end result was a run rule, 5-inning, 9-0 Arizona State victory that ended the Rebel season at 32-25. It was the third consecutive year Ole Miss advanced to an NCAA regional championship game. Arizona State improved to 46-11 and moves on to face South Carolina in a Super Regional with a trip to the Women's College World Series on the line. Lisp, who pitched well in two victories over Long Beach State and Tempe, just couldn't find the formula versus the Sun Devils. She lasted just one-third of an inning in her shortest start of the season, allowing five earned runs on six hits, facing just seven batters. She threw just 25 pitches, 16 of them for strikes. Lee finished the season with an 18-14 record playing in the last game of her Ole Miss career. She will be remembered as one of the greatest players in the program's history, ironically for her tendency to rise up to the challenge of big stage games. After their five-run, first inning out first, the Sun Devils played at four in the bottom of the fourth off reliever Ava Tillman. Ole Miss yielded all hopes for an improbable comeback in the innings, thanks in part to two errors, a hit batter, a walk and a wild pitch. Brittany Finney did the mop-up work for Ole Miss, striking out three Sun Devils in a scoreless bottom of the fourth. Meanwhile, Arizona State pitcher Giselle Juarez had her way with Rebel hitters. Juarez faced just two over the minimum, allowing just two hits and stroking out three. Juarez improved to 25-4 in the circle. Keelan Becker, who led off the game with a double, had one of the Rebels' two hits. Paige McKinney contributed a single in the second inning. Jade Gortarez led the Arizona State attack with two hits, two RBIs and a run scored. The Sun Devils pounded out 10 hits. Both of Ole Miss losses in the regional came at the hands of Arizona State. The Sun Devils defeated Ole Miss 7-1 on Saturday. The Rebels finished the tournament 2-2 with both of their wins coming against Long Beach State. Note, outfielder Celeste Wood was not included on Ole Miss postseason roster. Sources have told the Ole Miss spirit she was dismissed from the squad prior to the postseason due to an unspecified violation of team rules. Wood was in her first year with the Ole Miss program after transferring from Michigan State.